Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It's our first lesson on transformations. So we are going to start with uh, transformation one, which is uh, covered under form two work. Remember transformation simply involves uh, reflection, rotation, enlargement, and also translation. Then uh, a transformation at form four level, we'll be dealing at what we call matrix transformation. So let's look at this example, which is involving both reflection and rotation. So our first example reads that draw triangle ABC whose uh, coordinates are A has the coordinates of 3, 4, B has 1, 3, and C has 2, 1. So for us to draw uh, this particular triangle, we need what we call a Cartesian plane. So a Cartesian plane simply consists of uh, the vertical axis or what we are simply calling the Y axis. So I'm going to draw my vertical or Y axis. Then, of course, from these uh, particular y-axis, I need to see the largest possible coordinate. So point A has a value of y of positive 4, point B has 3, point C has 1. Therefore, our largest possible uh, value on the vertical axis will be positive 4. And that is why I'm going to start by naming uh, this point uh, positive 4. Then, of course, I'm going to skip two boxes. This will be positive 3. I also skip two boxes, positive two. I skip two boxes, positive one. Then this will be the point uh, zero, zero. Then uh, I'll skip two boxes. This will be negative one. Then uh, negative two. Then uh, negative three. Then lastly, we are also going to have negative four. After that, you make your axis continuous this way. Uh, you also make this side uh, continuous. Uh, to show that those particular values can go beyond uh, positive 4 depending on the requirements of the question. Then of course you label uh, these as the vertical or the y axis. From there I'm also going to uh, draw the x axis or the horizontal axis. Remember the x axis must go through uh, the point uh, 0, 0, so that is my x or the horizontal axis. Then, of course, I'm also going to label it. The largest possible uh, value on the x-axis is positive 3 because here we have 1. Then for point C, we have 2. So I'm going to use the same same scale. So this will be positive 1. After two boxes, positive 2. After two boxes, positive 3. Then maybe I can add one point up to uh, positive uh, 4. Then, of course, I'll also make this continuous. Then I label it the horizontal or the x-axis. Similarly, on this side, I'm going to have negative 1, then after two boxes, negative 2, after two boxes, uh, negative uh, 3, then after another two boxes, I'm going to have negative 4. So, of course, I also make this uh, continuous. So, in part A, we are told to draw this particular triangle ABC. So, I'm going to use the given coordinates. So, for point A, I'm given point A has the coordinate of uh, 3, 4 which means that the x coordinate uh, will be 3 and the y coordinate will be 4. So the first given part of the coordinate always represents the value on the x axis. So the x coordinate is uh, positive 3. Its corresponding y coordinate is positive 4. Therefore, our point A will be at this particular uh, point. Then we move to point B. We are given 1, 3. So x we have 1. Then on the y axis we have positive 3. So this is our coordinate uh, B, then C is 2, 1, so X is 2, then the value of Y is uh, 1, so this will be our point C. Of course, after that, I'm going to join the three points so that I can form the triangle ABC. So I'm going to connect point A to B, so I'll connect A to B, uh, then after that, I'm also going to connect uh, B to C, so I connect B to C, then of course C, will be connected back to uh, point A, so C to A. So that is my triangle A, B, and C. Then uh, for part B, we are told to draw A prime, B prime, C prime, the image of ABC under a rotation of positive 90 degrees about the origin. So it's important to note that uh, the origin simply means uh, the point zero, zero. So when we talk of origin, we are talking of zero, zero. So this is the point zero, zero. So this is the zero, zero. So if we want to rotate through positive 90 degrees, remember a rotation in the positive uh, direction is always a rotation in the 
uh, anti-clockwise direction whereas a rotation in the negative direction is always a rotation in the uh, clockwise uh, direction therefore because you are given positive 90 degrees we are going to rotate it in the uh, anti-clockwise direction through an angle of 90 degrees so if you want to rotate the first step you simply uh, connect all points to the center of rotation so we are told the center of rotation is the origin the point zero zero therefore i'm going to connect all these points to the center of rotation which is our point zero zero so if i start with a point a i'm going to connect it to the origin the point zero zero which is our center of rotation similarly uh, point B will be connected to the center of uh, rotation. Then point C will also be uh, connected to the center of rotation, which is uh, the point zero zero. Then after that, we are going to rotate. We are told to rotate through an angle of positive 90 degrees or simply 90 degrees in the anti-clockwise direction. Therefore, I'm going to use my uh, protractor. So I put it at the center of rotation then i want to start with uh, point a therefore you simply align it uh, along uh, the line of uh, running from the origin or the center of rotation towards point a then once it is aligned uh, we are going to draw a line connecting the center of rotation through the angle of 90 degrees because we are rotating through positive 90. so where there is a uh, 90 degrees you simply uh, draw a line through that particular point so you can see exactly it is through uh, 90 uh, degrees you have to ensure that the point is exactly uh, 90 degrees so that you you will you can get a more accurate answer so that is my 90 degrees then after that we are going to use our pair of compass to ensure that the distance from the center of rotation uh, to point a is actually same as the distance from the center of rotation to uh, a prime therefore uh, I'm going to put my pair of compass at the center, that is at uh, the center of rotation, which is the origin, the point zero zero. Then after that, I'm going to uh, rotate, uh, then I'll enlarge my pair of compass until it uh, reaches to point A. So let me see, yeah, it is exactly at point A. Then of course, after that, I'm going to rotate it uh, uh, through the line that I've drawn, then of course, uh, I make an arc I'm going to make an arc so you can see it is exactly at point A so you simply uh, rotate uh, through the line that you had originally uh, drawn then you make an arc so the point that you form that will be uh, the point uh, A prime so this will be A prime for this case we do the same for point B so I'm also going to rotate uh, my protractor to align uh, through the line of point B uh, this way then of course I'm going to draw a line uh, through the uh, center of rotation then it must go through the angle 90 degrees so you can see my 90 is here so uh, this point will uh, go through uh, here then using my pair of compass again I'm going to ensure that the distance from the center of rotation uh, to point B is the same as the distance from the center of rotation to its image uh, B prime therefore I'll reduce uh, my pair of compass to match uh, point B then of course after that I'm going to rotate it uh, through the line that I've drawn then I'll make an arc so that means this coordinate will be uh, our point B prime or the image of uh, point B then after that we are going to do the same for point C therefore i'll simply align my uh, protractor through the point c then uh, i draw a line from the center of rotation through 90 degrees uh, so that we can find uh, c prime so that is my line through uh, 90 degrees then after that using my pair of compass i'm going to uh, rotate it uh, to align to point c so this way i have c so uh, let me reduce it so that uh, it uh, matches with point c then after that we are simply going to uh, rotate so let me uh, remove uh, this uh, protractor so that you can see clearly so i'm going to rotate uh, so this will be uh, the point uh, c prime so this will be c prime of course after that you connect a prime to b prime uh, to c prime so that you form 
the image uh, a prime b prime c prime so i'll start with uh, a prime i connect it to point b prime this way then b prime uh, will be connected to uh, c prime then of course c prime should be connected back to uh, the starting point which was uh, the a prime so that is the image uh, of of uh, abc under rotation uh, through positive 90 degrees then part c we are told to draw a prime b prime c prime 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 uh, the image of a prime b prime c prime under a reflection through the line y is equals to x now remember the line y is equals to x is um, if y is equal to x if i choose the x coordinates for example if i choose uh, an x coordinate of uh, maybe 2 its corresponding y coordinate if i substitute 2 here this one will still be 2 if i choose x to be 4 then its corresponding y coordinate will also be uh, 4 therefore this line must pass through the point 2 2 uh, so this is why we have 2 2 uh, the line must also pass through the point uh, 4 positive 4 so 4 4 the coordinate is here of course this line must also pass through 1 1 because if you substitute when x is 1 its corresponding value of y will also be 1 therefore uh, this line let me use a different uh, ink so this line the line y is equals to x it must pass through uh, these coordinates then of course it's going through uh, the origin that is the point zero zero so after drawing the line uh, you also label it so this is what we are calling line uh, this is our line y is equal to x this is line y is equals to x so we are told to rotate it uh, that is to reflect uh, through that particular line so remember we are reflecting uh, a prime b prime c prime this one here so that to form a prime prime b prime prime and c prime prime so when it comes to reflection you have to ensure that uh, the angle uh, that is the angle through which the line that is performing the reflection the angle must meet with the mirror line at 90 degrees so to easily achieve that i'm going to use my uh, set square so you can see if i align uh, the set square is aligning with uh, this particular line it is also going through point uh, a so let me try to make my set square to be large so we can see that it is aligning with the uh, mirror liner so you simply rotate it uh, downwards then ensure that uh, you are maintaining the position of uh, a so let me try to elongate my set square so that it's large enough uh, so this is through point a then we are simply going to count the number of boxes uh, uh, to the mirror liner so we have uh, from point a I have one box two three four five six seven boxes uh. so similarly i'm going to count seven boxes on the other side one two three four five six seven so actually the image will be at this point so this will be uh what we are calling our uh a prime prime so let me use a different ink uh let me use a black one uh, so this will be this point here this point here will be what we are calling the a prime prime so this is a prime prime uh yeah so that is a prime prime so we do the same for also the other points so let me move to point b so you can see uh, my set square is aligning with the uh, point b it is also along the mirror line then i'm going to simply uh, move it this way uh make sure that it's going through point b then you simply count the number of boxes uh, to the mirror line so uh, from b prime i have one box two boxes three boxes four boxes to the mirror line so i'm also going to count four boxes on the other side uh, uh, one two three four so actually uh, b prime prime was to come at this particular point uh. so these were one two three then four one two three four so b prime should come at this point here therefore uh, i'm going to uh, draw the b prime prime so it should be here uh, my b prime prime should be at this point 
so this is uh, b prime prime uh, b prime prime remember this was the a prime prime huh? this was a prime prime then we're going to do the same for point c so for point c point c is here so i'm going to align this so i also count the number of boxes one two three to the mirror liner similarly i'm going to count one two three so my c prime prime should come at this point here so this will be uh, my c prime prime should come here therefore uh, let me remove uh, the set square then uh, so this is the c prime prime so it should be somewhere here c prime prime of course after that you are going to connect a prime prime to b prime prime to c prime prime so i connect these two uh, to b prime prime then b prime prime will be connected to c uh, prime prime then c prime prime has to be connected back to uh, a prime prime then part d of the question we are told to draw a prime prime three prime 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 c prime 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 the image of uh, a prime prime b prime prime c prime prime under a rotation through negative 90 degrees about the origin so because we are still uh, rotating through the same center of rotation i'm also going to connect uh, all the points to the center of rotation so let me start with uh, a prime prime i also connected to uh, the origin that is our center of uh, rotation i also connect b prime prime uh, to the center of rotation then i connect uh, c prime prime to uh, the center of rotation now for this case we are told to rotate it through negative 90 degrees about the origin so that means as we rotate the rotation should move in the uh, clockwise direction because remember we said a negative rotation should be in the uh, clockwise direction remember for this case this one this was the original object so you can see the image is moving in the anti-clockwise direction because we are rotating through positive 90 then for negative 90 we expect uh, the image to move to the other side because this is the uh, clockwise direction because of the uh, negative so after that i'm going to use again my pair of compass uh, sorry the protractor to perform the rotation so i put my protractor at the center of rotation uh, this way then i'm going to align it uh, uh, with the line going to uh, a prime prime so that is our line then of course i'm going to draw a line through uh, 90 degrees uh, let me align it well so this one is going to a prime prime then where i have uh, where i have um, that is 90 degrees i'm going to draw a line uh, through that particular point so from the center this is our center of rotation so i move through positive 90 degrees so this way i have my uh, 90 degrees then using my pair of compass i'm going to ensure that uh, the distance from the center of rotation to uh, a prime prime is the same so let me pick my uh, pair of compass so this is is it so i ensure the distance from uh, the center to a prime prime should be the same so let me elongate my pair of compass uh, to ensure that it merges at point a prime prime yeah then i simply rotate i perform the rotation so clearly you can see uh, its image was supposed to come at this point so once i have that i label it so this now will be our a prime uh, thrice so this is a prime 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 then we move to point uh, b uh, prime prime we perform the same process i align it along uh, the line going to point b uh, this way then of course i draw a line uh, where we have the 90 degrees so uh, from the center which is a uh, zero zero uh, through the 90 degrees so this is where the 90 is i draw a line through that then using my pair of compass i'm going to ensure that the distance uh, uh, is the same to point uh, b so this is the point b i'll try to reduce it 
uh, so that it uh, emerges at that point. Then of course I perform the rotation, uh, the rotation this way. So the image is supposed to come at this uh, point. Uh. So of course I'm going to plot it. Uh. So this will be the point B prime three times. Uh. So this is B prime prime prime. Then after that we move to point C. Uh, I also align my protractor along uh, the point C. Uh, maintaining the center of rotation. Uh, so through point C, where I have 90, I'm going to draw a line uh, from the center of rotation through positive 90 degrees, through 90 degrees. So here is it. Then using my uh, pair of compass, let me remove this. Uh, using my pair of compass, I'm going to ensure that the distance uh, to C prime, prime is the same as the distance to C uh, prime 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 so I simply rotate this so this is the line going to point C so uh, this point will come uh, here so I'm going to have this so this will be my point uh, C prime 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 after that you simply connect A prime prime to B prime prime to C prime prime so this is my A prime prime I connect it to B uh, prime prime then B prime 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 I connect it to point C then of course uh, point C I connect it back to uh, the starting point which was uh, point A so that is our A prime 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 uh, under a, a rotation through negative uh, 90 degrees so in our next lessons of course we'll be looking at uh, more examples